Hello and welcome to Vokta Gaming's Carnage Specials episode number 8. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain. And are you ready for the last game in this best of three series between these two Team Carnage players? Because I definitely am. First up in the orange, winning the first game but struggling to hold in the incredible game two. His name is Lemony Tang. And opposing him with a pretty bad overall game one but an incredible game two his name is Jimmy so they're talking about their individual streams I believe from iSeries both of these players did participate in iSeries Jimmy doing incredibly well getting top 12 like so he is in the 12 best players in the UK right now. That is pretty incredible. I'm going to be interested to see what way this game goes. Now this isn't the MLG version of this map so cross positions are not stopped only uh, horizontal positions so uh, I don't exactly know why Lemony Tang's unit is going that way because he cannot actually check up here. <laughs> and Jimmy is... Uh, Reckoning Lemony Tang is going to 11 11 him. That would certainly be interesting. I don't think that's going to happen considering we're at 15 and there are no barracks outside of the main. So Lemony Tang checks that cross position. There is nothing there. And so he's going to know Jimmy's here. These players are my head in. I'm trying to focus and think and I just keep reading their messages. It's as bad as watching Stefano play. By the way guys, if you've never watched Stefano's games, he's one of the funniest guys in the world. The, the, especially at MLG, the stuff he types for his opponents is so funny. I want to see something different from these two players now. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are cheering me up at least. I'm really ill and tired, but at least they're making me laugh. So, uh, normal start. Please make siege tanks in the early game, Jimmy. Please. That would be really nice. We have Lemony Tang again, getting two gas off the back of his one Rax expand. I just don't get this. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think either of them are going to go on to take the championship. But it's a nice thought. We have a starport going up for Jimmy. So he's going uh, potentially 1 1 1 style. Let's have a look. This could actually be proper 1 1 1 style. Oh, but Lemony Tang scans it. Oh, Lemony Tang knows exactly what's going on now. And Lemony Tang has got the expansion up. And it's going to be safe. He's got an eBay already because he knows, Jimmy. He knows. Now, of course, this is only a 1 1 1. If A, Banshees come out, and B, he doesn't attack with it rather than just a harass. That's the rules of what makes something a 1 1 1. And Jimmy's going to expand behind this because, of course, he knows where many Tang will have. So, early eBay. Oh, man, straight into Raven. Look at that. Got scanned. Screw Banshee straight into Raven. This is going to be fun. This could be a really nice push timing from Jimmy if he goes to base. Look at this tech lab on the factory. Jimmy's going to do something different. Jimmy's going to go Marine Tank Raven. God, please do. I'm so excited if he actually goes Marine Tank Raven. Do it. Yes. Marine Tank Raven on the way from Jimmy. I am excited. Meanwhile, Lemony Tang going pretty much standard for him. Please don't go Banshees, especially now you've been scouted. Yep. I'll look at that. Getting a Viking out because he thinks... Of course, that Jimmy is going to go Banshee, but he's not. 
He's not. He's going Raven. He's going Marine Tank Raven. Aha! Jimmy's moving down to the natural where he's going to land his orbital command once it is done morphing. So Lemon Tank with a slight economic advantage in the early game. Siege Tech also on the way. Not yet out for Jimmy. He has the double gas. But he has been spending all his money on units and this orbital command. And that's the thing, when you go one Rax command send out, you get money that fair bit quicker. And it's actually Lemony Tang using all of his gas. I'm not the biggest fan of one Rax expanding to double gas unless you use it all, but that is exactly what he's doing. And adding another factory onto a reactor, so he's going mech. Oh, and another factory! Oh my god, I'm getting my wish. Guys, I'm actually getting my wish. Lemony Tang is going mech, Jimmy is going marine tank with a raven. Speechless. Actually speechless. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I must admit, I was not looking forward to another 40 minute game of Jimmy just going marines until he's actually forced to make tanks and then being forced to come back from behind constantly because he doesn't make enough tanks. Oh my god, I am so excited! Infernal Preigniter on the way for Lemony Tanks. Siege Tech is about to finish. Both players at their full gas capacity pretty much. Jimmy could make another one when he has the cash. But right now he needs minerals more than he needs gas. I don't know what that noise was. Something mechanical fell over but it wasn't my room. That's okay. It's not mine. So, oh and look at this attack path. Going to come up. Sneak up up the back. Lemony Tang has nothing watching that. He's watching the main path. Oh he sends a marine down there so he's going to get caught. Just the one marine though, and now not enough Medivac to elevate her up onto this high ground, but he's going to do it one by one. Oh, misses a drop there with the siege tank, and Lemony Tang is ready with these siege tanks, so everything here is going to die unfortunately. Sorry Jimmy, your siege tanks need to get the hells out of there. Bunker going up on the bottom, interesting move, Jimmy really wants to do something with this book. Oh, careful with that raven man. I know you've got the PDD, but do not lose that Raven. Double armoury on the way for Lemony Tank, so he's going to hit every upgrade he possibly can. We have plus one infantry weapons on the way, and two more racks from Jimmy. So Jimmy's actually going to take this into a Marine Tank style. Whereas Lemony Tank is going full on mech. He don't need no Marine. He got Vikings for that. He has a Raven of his own, because god damn it, Ravens are awesome. Just having one Raven in your army can change things up so much. He's got a bunker but no marines in it. It's not going to matter though because Lemony Tang right now. Excuse me. Because Lemony Tang right now is not going to push out for it. He's quite happy where he is. He has this two base up. And he knows Jimmy cannot attack into it. If you want to take a third base, the third base is over here and it's perfectly safe. Take these rocks down very quickly. Oh, and there we go. Jimmy just leaves. Jimmy's had enough. Oh, he's going to lose a penny back for no reason. Ah! Oh, my word. Ten hit points left. So, now we're heading into another macro phase. And that seems to be the way this game goes between Lemmy Zang and Jimmy. We tend to have periods of aggression followed by periods of silence. Where they sit back and kill their own tanks. Did he, did he just kill his own tank? I kind of want to rewind and see if he just killed his own tank for no reason. But I can't imagine why Lemony Tang would have sent a tank there either. So, Lord only knows what is going on at this point. 1-1 one, one on the way for Lemony Tang's vehicles. Which is going to affect every last one of his units, apart from the ships, from his little, his poor little Vikings. He's got the third base set up. Jimmy does not. Jimmy's going to try and move out into the centre of the map. Uh, let me tell you, to be careful here, losing his Hellions. They are fast enough to get away right into the path of Marauders. Luckily for him, no concussive shells, so he only loses one Hellion. This is this is pretty tense. I mean, for the fact that they're both kind of backed off from one another, I really don't to see what way this game is going to go. 
So instead, I'm just going to yawn a lot. I need to take a week off at some point, man. In July. I <laughs> have three weeks in July off. I'm probably going to do no casting for a week and just do no work for a week. No visit people. That will be nice. Maybe do a bar craft again. By the way, guys, if you ever want to come meet me in person, do come down to the Manchester Bar Crafts at the Kyoto Lounge. Our next one is most likely on the 8th of July, I believe. That is when Home Story Cup is. That's for a cup of five. As Jimmy sets up a contain outside of this base. Nice moves there, though. Taking down that PDD, forcing the Raven backwards. And baiting a few Marines forward. This is a decent contain Jimmy's got set up, but the, the problem is it contains his Lemony Tang on three bases. And Lemony Tang's quite happy on three bases. He doesn't want to move out yet anyway, he's adding three more factories. Getting 2-2 two, two for his Hellions and Siege tanks. Compared to the 0-0 zero, zero for Jimmy's Siege tanks. Only the 1-1 one, one of his bio. Finally Jimmy's adding an armory to perhaps start those upgrades. So this contain really not doing anything. I mean, Jimmy's hidden a third base, but he doesn't need to. He has his opponent contained, and all it means is these SCVs have to go away forever to reach there. And if it does get spotted, because I mean, you got to remember, like Lemony Tank can still medevac drop if he decided to. He can take a couple of tanks around there, or a couple of Hellions. Uh, this Central Tower doesn't really help with that for Jimmy because it doesn't cover the back of the main or the side really it just covers these units uh, and the vision they already have it does let him see if anything's going to come in from the side or behind I guess but we are at a standoff position Lemony Tank, uh, Lemony Tank Siege Tank slowly just inching their way forwards finally have some Vikings now here to hear me but there's a PDD up that is going to stop them from doing any damage. Force them to retreat. And here we go, look. Bunch of Hellions just slid right past Jimmy. Oh, he doesn't go towards the hidden base, but that doesn't matter. Oh, he's going to come here, but there's, oh, there's Marauders here. He thinks there's a third base, and there is no third base yet. The Tennis can actually kill these Marauders. He loses one Hellion in that. And now he's going to come here, forcing him to land the Vikings again. Oh, if you knew about that hidden base, you could take down every last SCV. He's going to head away. Oh, he's going to head back. One Hellion is going there, though. One Hellion. Oh, he's checking here. Oh, he's going to go up. Is he going to go up into the main? I don't know. Yes, he is. These Hellions, though, man, throwing them away on this attack. He doesn't need to because there are SCVs over there. He's going to kick himself when he realizes... He does get a few SCVs here. We have one Hellion though attacking this building. And again, everything is just kind of stood off here. Lemony Tang with the advantage though. Lemony Tang playing really, really well. He's got three base up. He's got mech. And this is what I'm talking about. When I say you just cannot engage mech without mech of your own. And Lemony Tang has more mech than Jimmy does. <clears throat> Look at this. Even going to land a base here. Incredible. And there's nothing can be done about it. Finally, some Marauders coming up here, but look at this Hellion, this boss Hellion. Six kills so far. Is he going to get to seven? Oh, it's so close. I'm going to kill it. There we go. Seven kill Hellion. Bam! Twenty workers killed. Lemony Tang is playing this to perfection. This is what Max should be played like. Look at this. He's got this fourth base up right in that center tower range and he just does not care. Because he knows Jimmy can't engage him. Jimmy cannot engage this. He has siege tanks here that cover all the way up to it. And there's nothing he can do. Jimmy cannot move forward from this position. If he does, all his units die. And that's going to become a planetary fortress. So that's going to be even harder to attack. Lemony Tang is going to be on four base. Two, I admit, Jimmy's four base. So at least Jimmy's doing the right thing economically. But I'm going to look at this. Look at the money. Three, four thousand minerals with one thousand gas to like five hundred minerals. Lemony Tang is just, he's got so many units. He's even getting his ship weapons upgrades now because he's bored of getting his uh, vehicle weapons. 
and vehicle armor. 2 2 is more than enough to utterly decimate any kind of 0 0 upgrade. So now he's going to upgrade his Vikings to make sure he keeps the air advantage. Look at this. He's going to push forward with these siege tanks now. See you later, missile turret. See you later, sensor tower. Oh, careful. Careful, Lemony Tang. Ah, you get to lose a Viking. You lose two Vikings. Use your control. Thank you very much. Now, we do have Jimmy trying to take down this fourth base. Does take down this fourth base, but it's not going to last. Ah, and a couple of sides from me, because Lemony Tang was some really bad control there. He didn't need to lose any units. He lost two Vikings and a couple of siege tanks for no reason whatsoever. I mean, I like that Jimmy's trying to stretch him. But there's just no need. And now he's going to... See, you move into the tank range again. But no need. You're going to nearly lose the tank there as well. Again, just completely unnecessarily. Jimmy, though, is forced back here. And Lemony Tang, man, he's not so much bank. It doesn't matter. He's still at 200 supply. He's getting five siege tanks and two more Vikings out. Building five siege tanks at a time. Throwing down another centre tower just to help defend. 1-1 uh, for his Vikings. About to finish. And then we'll see whether he goes 2-2 or if he goes back to upgrading his ground. We'll see. Jimmy stimming in. Trying to do some damage here, but it's not going to be enough. Lemony Tang still just has so much money. He, like He has this fourth base up now. Just because why the hell not? You know Why not keep getting that bank up? Honestly, you could live without a base now for a good long time with the amount of bank he has stacked up. He loses some Hellions here, but he has the Vikings giving him the range advantage. The Marauders stim forward because the Sea Tanks aren't done sieging yet, but we have more Sea Tanks coming to join and all the Marauders melt. And now just pushing forward, going to lose more Sea Tanks, but man, killing the bio. Lemony Tang is doing just fine. He can actually trade inefficiently with mech. That's how good he is playing right now. So these four bases pretty much up. Come on, Lamy. You can you can start mining again. As it is, all of his focus is on this though. Seized up with these tanks, dropping the Vikings to just help him out, add an extra bit of DPS, and now he can go kill these last two siege tanks because there's nothing there defending them. So you can sit outside of their siege range. Well, inside their siege range, so long as they're to be scanned. Three more tanks on the way for Jimmy. We have five more about to finish, or two more finishing. Three more on the way for Lemony Tang. And now, in fact, Jimmy just has to go home with those tanks. He knows they're going to die. Yep, 3-3 three, three on the way. Oh, battle cruisers for Lemony Tang. I got so excited about that. I didn't even notice the fusion core. Oh, so he's going to slowly replace, or not replace his Vikings, but add a couple of battle cruisers to his Viking count and why the hell not when you have this kind of advantage why not go for the best units money can buy it's going to help him break any kind of siege should Jimmy try and do that again now he's going to send some Hellions down to the fourth base of Jimmy unfortunately for him Jimmy has two siege tanks set up there Jimmy is at least defending his bases very very well but man look at this Lemony Tang taking a fifth base not interestingly going to go up. Oh, now he is. I don't know why, because he scanned it. He surely saw two siege tanks. Oh my god! He's going to kill siege tanks with Hellions! Ah, ha, ha. Amazing! He's within siege range now! Oh, but there's one more order there! Oh, I thought he was going to get both of them! That would have been incredible! Because I think siege tanks have a minimum range with their attack when they are seized so when you get right up close to them like that they cannot actually shoot at you oh that was incredible luckily for Jimmy he did leave one marauder there or he'd have lost both of his siege tanks incredible two banshees being added now so Lemony Tang going the Sky Terran way but doing it off a much more solid base than Jimmy did in game one taking another base as well that is six bases now that Lemony Tang has and Jimmy has no answer to it Jimmy is just massing his forces in the middle and that is not going to do him any good whatsoever. He just does not have the composition to take on what Lemony Tang has. So long as Lemony Tang engages correctly, he will win any kind of straight up fight. Here he goes, pushing down now with Hellion, Siege Tank, Viking, Battle Cruiser. And he takes the centre, Jimmy backs off because Jimmy cannot attack into that. And look at that, Lemony Tang just retreats. No, it's cool. Okay, I'm just going to wait till I've got everything. 
He does not feel the need to attack whatsoever. He has this ammo. Um, watch now. You can see it happening. He needs to siege up, though. He needs to siege up. He needs to siege up. Siege is up before the units can stim in. Thank God for that. That's all he needs to do. He needs to make sure he doesn't get caught on siege. And now we're going to send a ton of Hellions down here. Yep, that is not going to be enough to stop this. He can actually kill all the SCVs before he loses all his Hellions. He could even kill the base. Like, that's how upgraded his Hellions are now. Jimmy, though, <clears throat> trying for an attack. Lemony Tank. Sieging up, though. Pushing Jimmy, in fact, back towards Lemony Tank's own natural and main. Jimmy just going straight in. Oh, nice wall off there. He's going to catch these units. They're going to be clumped in between them. These siege tanks aren't sieged up. So Lemony Tank can just power through them. Incredible. All the SCVs at Jimmy's fourth are dead. And Jimmy is going to lose all of his units in here. He's going to take out as many production facilities as he can before he loses all of his units. But his supply is going to dwindle. And Lemony Tank is going to stay up at about 184. Incredible. Jimmy is struggling. Lemony Tank is just adding more bases because why the hell not? He's got units now, these Hellions, into the third of Jimmy as well. Finally, they all get picked up, but Jimmy so far behind. So a total of 49 workers killed for the whole game. And Jimmy with only three proper bases to make SCVs from. Lemony Tang with a million. Look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bases for Lemony Tang, even if he is going to let that factory burn down. Oh no, he does repair it in time. Good lad. Now getting plus two, plus two for his Banshees, Vikings, and Battle Cruiser. <laughs> Jimmy's just forced to retreat. He's getting close for it. He's adding two more factories. 3,000 minerals still left for Lemony Tang. And just more and more being added all the time. PDDs go down for Jimmy. So Lemony Tang will feel safe to move forward again. He's basically got him contained here, adding more factories. Siege Tank at home just in case of anything, trying to be sneaky. Oh, so the seat is very late, which means the Marauder's going to get some kills. The Marauder's going to try and run down now, but there's too much there. All these Siege Tanks are here. So Jimmy's Marauders die. Jimmy is dead. Good game. Well played. And it was well played. I started this series wondering if Lemony Tang could hang in there with Jimmy. Now, I'm wondering if Lemony Tang isn't one of the best Terrans in the UK. Absolutely unbelievable mech play there. Why he is not doing that strategy every single TVT, I will never know. Because that was perfect. That was spot on. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you go mech. Thank you very much to these guys uh, for throwing me this best of three series. Thank you very much for Team Carnage, of course, as always, for letting me work with them. I have been your host for this best of three series. Lemony Tang taking it 2-1. The vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain. You have been watching Carnage Esports. And thank you very much for doing so. I will be back at some time in the future with yet more videos from the UK's Team Carnage. In the meantime, if you want to check us out, come over to the Carnage Esports website. Just Google Carnage Esports or, of course, click the link in the description. You can find more of me at SCV Rush, at Vapor Game, and at YouTube.com forward slash Voxer Gaming. This is me signing out.